In yesterday's tip, you heard how not to open your speeches and presentations. Today and in the next few tips, you'll hear some ideas on how to do that. The two tips for today on how to open your presentation with a bang is number one, questions, and number two, a startling statement. So when I say your first words, I literally mean the first words out of your mouth. They could be a question. For example, when I'm doing a presentation skills talk, I could start with this question. What is the number one business communication skill that Warren Buffett says can increase your value in the marketplace by at least 50%? Doesn't that create curiosity? Doesn't it make you want to know what's the answer? And doesn't it have credibility because Warren Buffett said it? That is a great lead-in to my topic about presentation or public speaking skills. So questions are a good way to start your talk. Another way is to begin with a startling statement. Years ago, I heard a speaker talk about seeing the uh, former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, begin a presentation with these words. Every child born today, on this day in the United States, will be $134,000 in debt by the end of the day. His talk was all about the economy and the national debt and why it was such a problem. That statistic brought home the, the importance of, of keeping our spending under control on a national level and the implication of not doing that to all individual American citizens. The first two ways you can open your speech to grab the audience's attention is to ask a question or make a startling statement. In tomorrow's tip, you'll hear all about a little-used device that lets the audience know you're fully present and you're paying attention to their event. It makes them feel special and it makes them feel like you're there just for them.